approaching. Please watch your step. Hi everyone, today we are at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. Today we're going to be talking about our favorite strategies to help you get those iconic Universal Studios pictures. We're also going to show you our absolute favorite way to explore the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when it's empty, and how you can do it too. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We've got a lot of great content coming for you. One of the first secrets that we want to share with you is that you can get into City Walk an hour before the parks open. So for instance, today, Islands of Adventure opens at 8 a.m. for early admission. City Walk also opens at 8 a.m., but you can get through security at 7 a.m. and walk around City Walk before the park opens. So regardless of if you have early park admission, you can still get into the City Walk area an hour before parks open and take those iconic pictures. For our next step, we're gonna get that iconic globe photo. But instead of walking in front of the globe for our first photo, we're actually gonna head down to the docks. Now heading down to the docks, you can actually take this picture at any point in time during the day and get a photo without a crowd of people in it. But we like taking it first thing in the morning because of the way the light hits. If you do want that up close globe photo, you're really going to want to head here first thing in the morning. This area gets packed throughout the day. And in order to have a picture with only you in it, you're really going to want to get that picture first thing in the morning. So go ahead and rope drop that globe photo. You won't regret it once you have that great picture. We just scanned into the park and we are now heading inside Islands of Adventure for early park admission. Early park admission is a perk that comes with staying at one of the Universal Orlando hotels or with your annual pass depending on the level. We have found that what most people do for early park admission is rope drop Hagrid's. Now that may seem like a really great strategy because Hagrid's has very high wait times and does not offer express pass. But what we're going to do today is bypass Hagrid's for Hogsmeade and enjoy Hogsmeade while it's empty since this is an area that does have a tendency to crowd during the day. We're gonna get those good pictures, we're gonna get some better beer, and we're gonna get breakfast. So as you can see on the right, the line to Hagrid's is really filling up. But in front of us, Hogsmeade is empty. So this is something that we do every time we have early park admission. We enter Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley first and check it out. Look how empty it is. And this area gets so packed. It gets so packed, it's hard to walk through here at different points in time of the day. And this butterbeer cart, the line is gonna be so long as the day goes on, but no one is here yet. So you can rope drop a butterbeer if you would like. Over to the left, you'll have three broomsticks. This is one of our favorite places to eat. I love getting breakfast here. So that's one of the other secrets that we have for Hogsmeade if you come back here during early park admission. Another thing you could do here is through the windows, you can do some of the spells or look at some of the intricate details in the windows and you're gonna be able to see everything without a crowd in your way. So as you can see by how empty the entire area is, it's really a perfect opportunity to come back here instead of jumping in that line to go to Hagrid's and spend more time in the wizarding world and enjoying what it has to offer. Another really great photo op that you can take advantage of first thing in the morning is right over here across the bridge. You are going to get a stunning view of Hogwarts. During the day, this entire area is going to be filled with people. But if you come here first thing in the morning, you're going to get a really great shot. One more area that you can get a really great photo over here in front of Hogwarts Castle is just right on the path. Early in the day, you're going to be able to take a photo that is going to make for a great keepsake. This is my favorite breakfast. This is a tradition for me. I get the American breakfast. I get it with hot butterbeer. Even though it's hot outside, I can drink hot drinks 
all the time. And Zach, what are you going to get? I might get pancakes today. Are you going to have a butter beer with it? Mm, I feel like I have to. But... We are walking inside to a very empty three broomsticks. And that's part of the benefit of coming here really early. Now that we finished breakfast, what we're going to do is head over to the Hogwarts Express and head over to Universal Studios. In order to ride the Hogwarts Express, you will need a two-park ticket. We have passes that are for multiple parks. So since Universal Studios is opening in about 10 minutes, we're going to head over to Universal Studios and go into Diagon Alley before the crowds come in. Since Universal Studios did not open until 9 today and we were able to board one of the first Hogwarts Express trains out of Islands of Adventure, we're now in Diagon Alley and we're going to get one more photo before the crowds start to fill in. We're going to get the dragon photo. If you want that dragon photo, this is the time to do it. Now that we've finished taking all of our epic photos, we're going to walk around Diagon Alley while it's still empty. The park opened about 20 minutes ago and the crowds still haven't made it back here yet. So that gives us the opportunity to peruse around, look through all these intricate window displays, and just really take in the theming of the Wizarding World because it really is a magical feeling being back here, especially when it's not crowded. One of Zach's favorite things to do while in the Wizarding World is check out the stores. And it's really great when he gets to check out the stores early. I love being able to check out the stores when no one's in there. It allows me to just walk around and browse, take my time. I don't feel rushed. I can check out all the awesome details and all the extra stuff in the store. It really just makes the experience that much better. And I really love seeing if there's anything new for House Ravenclaw. Next, we're going to head into Sugar Plum Sweet Shop, another great location to go before the parks start to get busy. This is where you're going to find many of the Harry Potter themed sweets, like pumpkin juice, something I've never had, and the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. You get to see all the sweets that they have and kind of peruse it. The Chocolate Frogs, another thing I've never had. And then we're gonna go check out some merch. We're always on the hunt for some new merch. Check out all of the details of the shops. These two shirts we love, but they only have it in Gryffindor and Slytherin. And we're Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, and we desperately wish they'd get those shirts. So instead we got these Seeker shirts and actually had them personalized with our names. Well, that wraps up today's video. Let us know in the comments below if you've used any of these tips and tricks. If you've enjoyed these tips, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. We have a lot of great videos coming with many helpful tips. <laughs> How many butter beers do you think we can drink today? 46.